All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make a super awesome fidget spinner using the tube. Drop that little tube out there, and let's start by setting our radius to 15.5, which will give us a total diameter of 31. We're going to use that number 31 to calculate the right thickness here. If we do 22.3 for the size of our bearing, that would equal... 8.7, but we need to divide that by 2 to get the wall thickness because there are two walls on each side. So if you divide it by 2, you get 4.35, which we will type in as our wall thickness. With that done, let's set our bevel to 3. This gives us a nice tapered shape for our spinner, and we are off to the races. At this point, let's keep this speedy by just doing Control D and then using the arrow keys to nudge it up to the location we most like. Uh, switching to the top view lets you see that you've got it aligned how you want. I'm not going to do any math here. I'm going to just get it close and then duplicate again. And then I'm moving this down to the bottom third. And once I've got it to the bottom third, I'm going to just drag it over using those arrow keys once again and get it to where I want it. Not doing any math, just picking a spot that seems kind of nifty. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate again. I'm going to get this one over to the other side-ish. Now I do want these horizontally aligned with each other. So you can see I'm clicking Shift, using a line, and picking the top choice. Alright, essentially this design is finished at this point. Now I'm just taking a look at it from the top to make sure I've really got my parts connected. I did not do any math for those connections. I just did it by eyeball. Uh, at this moment, I think I want it in just another chunk. So I'm going to click it and use the arrow keys and go left and up one and right and up one or vice versa. This design is good to save now, so I'm going to change the name to say Fast Fidget with the Tube or something like that. And then you can share it with me if you want by inviting people. Uh, you can email them that link and they can actually edit your item. Then also you can connect to Thingiverse and then immediately see your model on Thingiverse. You do have to make sure you publish your model. Mod your model on Thingiverse. Once you publish the thing, the whole world can see it. And after a short pause and a screen refresh, you'll actually be able to see your amazing item in ThingView. And then it'll be ready for anybody out in the world to print it. If you are in my classroom and have gotten permission to print, then you need to export your file using the cool export tool as an STL folder and then from this STL file I need you to put it in the desktop find the MT tools folder which will usually be up near the top depends on how your computer is set up and then find the brand new STL file shortcut make sure you type your name after it so I know who is the creator because quite often we have the same names for the things we make and boom your cool stuff is ready to be printed well done Thank <laughs> you.